Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you and showing you my top five favorite strange lipstick colors. So the colors that I have are only from two brands and three of them are from ColourPop and the other two are from Ofra. I feel like you kind of have to find an online brand or higher end brand to find these kind of weird colors because I feel like the drugstore doesn't really make the strangest colors. I know Maybelline came out with that bold collection and that did have some like navy blues but all in all in general I tend to find that the colors that I'm looking for you have to find in an actual brand and so Ofra has really good ones and ColourPop has really good ones. I'm going to talk about the calmest most normal color first. This is Ofra Staten Island. So this is just like a grayish kind of color. These were very popular like last winter and I know that Lime Crime has one. It's cashmere. So this is the one that I ended up picking up. I think this color is really pretty. I just find it's hard to wear sometimes because it can dry down on your lips and it be a little bit darker. And when I'm not as tan, it kind of like looks like a dark color on my lips. I have a tutorial using it, so I'll be sure to link it in case you want to check it out. But it does look darker on my lips, I think, because I am so fair. But it's such like a weird, different kind of like nude brownie gray color. I really like it a lot. I think it's really really pretty and yeah. The next color that I'm going to talk about is the Bronx by Ofra. This is a black liquid lipstick. I feel like black is everybody's weird favorite lipstick color because it's just black. Who doesn't want black lipstick? I love black lipstick. I've got a bunch of different black lipsticks. I just happened to pick this one because everything else that I had was liquid lipsticks. I figured I would stick with the liquid lipstick theme, but my lips are not thanking me right now after swatching them all, you know? But I really like this color. It's nice and opaque. I usually do like two layers. Two layers sounds about right. I think black lipstick is just so pretty. It's one of my favorite lipstick colors and I feel like it goes with almost any makeup look but it goes really well with like a natural look and it goes really well with like winged liner. Just love it so much. The next shade that I have to show you I mentioned in my August favorites. This is Colourpop's Marshmallow and this is just like a gray lavender shade. That's how I would describe it. I think this color is so pretty. It's nice and light. It does slightly stain my lips a little pink but that doesn't really Really matter to me. I really like this color. I think like I feel like it's wearable but it's not really wearable because it's like gray purple. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not really wearable but I feel like it's wearable and I like these kind of colors. Like this is the kind of color that I love. And I really like that it's not a bright lavender because I find that the bright lavenders are the kind of colors that I can't wear. So I just think this color is like really pretty and I don't know. It's so weird because like purple gray lipstick is not wearable for every day but for me it is the next shade that i have is ColourPop's petite four now this does have a different scent than the other color pops ultra satins it smells slightly chemically or like it's like crayon you smell it when you put it on but like it, it kind of like fades away but i just know like when i open it i can smell it it's that weird chemically crayon scent it's really strange but i really like this color it's like a deep teal blue gray shade and I think it's really really pretty. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this this winter. The grittiness is kind of hard to get over but I feel like I could eventually get over it. Maybe it just needs to be like shaken up more. Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know but the color is really pretty and I will do anything for a really pretty really weird lipstick. And the last shade that I have is Dr. M by Colourpop. This is an ultra matte lip and this color is incredibly drying. This shade is almost so drying that it's like impossible to wear but I mentioned it because I like to top it with the color that I have on right now. This is the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Crystal Ball. As you can see this color is super opaque and it is a green. It's a true green metallic lip gloss but I do like to pair them sometimes because I like always want to wear Dr. M, do you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it is just very, very drying and it crumbles a lot, like a lot, a lot. But what's great is that since they came out with these two colors and they're so similar, you can apply the Dr. M shade in a very like thin layer to your lips and then apply the 
glossy lip on top of it so i really like pairing those two together i only have on the glossy lip right now because my lips are just like dead because i tried on five liquid lipsticks and then rubbed them all off you know but yeah these are all of my top favorite weird different lipstick shades that i own you know i'm just very into weird lipstick like i like strange lipstick i like browns in like grays i like greens i like blues i just ordered jellies which is ColourPop's blue lippy and i just like i just really enjoy strange colored lipstick those are all the shades that i have now let's talk about how i like to wear weird lipstick colors so this look for me is probably the most common that i will wear when i am wearing a strange liquid lipstick so the first thing that's important to me when wearing a bold lip color is to make sure that my skin looks good so today i wore a full face of foundation most days i don't i just choose concealer but either way it's important to me that i don't have any blemishes or redness on my skin when i'm wearing a bold color and also for me i have a lot of acne scarring and this is where i get most of my breakouts because most of my breakouts are hormonal and i have acne scarring there because i just keep getting them in the same place like i get a lot right here so it is so close to my mouth that i like to completely cover that up where in the event that i was just wearing a nude gloss i might just apply a little bit of concealer and not worry so much about it being full coverage so that is the first thing that i like to do when i'm wearing a bold lip color so obviously i always love me some highlight but i tend to wear a gold highlight if i am wearing a warmer color or a brown and if i'm wearing a cool toned color like this green i like to use a pinker highlight so something else that i like to do when wearing bold lip colors is to go very easy on the eyes now of course you could go with a giant dramatic green smoky eye for this or maybe if you're wearing black you could go for a big black and silver smoky look and that's totally okay and that's totally cool and up to you but for me i prefer to keep things more casual from day to day so i like to just go with like the natural look of my face and what i like to do is just apply mascara to my top lashes i find that when i apply mascara to my top lashes it kind of leaves this section of my face just completely open and it kind of breaks up where the focus on my face is so it goes from my lashes and my brows to my lips and like that's the only focus that there is but of course you can go ahead and apply mascara to your lower lashes if you want to i also sometimes like to wear some winged liner and like if i'm gonna wear a black lipstick maybe i'll wear some black wing liner and my lashes and then the black lipstick and that will kind of pull everything together in a very modern classy way and so when i do a look like this that i have on my face today i like to line my waterline with a nude or white pencil and i'll just make my eyes look bigger that's just what i like to do of course you don't have to do it that's just something that i personally enjoy doing and i think it makes my eyes like i said look bigger and I, like i told you i like it when everything just looks open around my face and under my eyes Something else I like to do when I wear bright, bold colors, especially when I wear purple lipsticks or like a really dark brown, is I'll do my entire face and then I'll leave my eyes completely bald. No mascara, just curl them and then sometimes I'll put a little bit of clear brow gel onto them and that is going to make my lashes kind of stay in place without being bold or mascara or dark, you know what I mean? It'll keep them looking very natural but curled at the same time so it looks like I have eyelashes, you know? And I just really like the way that that looks. I'll insert a picture from the tutorial that I did where I did something like that. I wore just like foundation, I did my whole face, I wore purple lipstick and nothing on my eyes. I just enjoy the look of bald eyes with a bold lip color i think it just looks really pretty so that is another way that i like to wear my lipsticks and yeah i think those are really the only things that i do different when i'm wearing my liquid lipsticks i always apply highlighter i always do concealer bronzer i don't like to contour when i'm wearing a bold color i like to just kind of bronze up the area very lightly and give myself a little bit of definition on the face but not like a strong contour but again all these things are just me personally but i wanted to share the way that i like to do things with you guys so maybe that would be helpful to you and also for a list of all the products mentioned 
and the products that are on my face I will leave them in the description box down below and so that completes this video I hope that you guys liked it be sure to leave me your favorite weird colored liquid lipsticks in the description box down below so I can check those out because I am a connoisseur of strange lipsticks and if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already I'm Alexis and I'll see you next time Bye. I think black liquid looks and I feel like I'm going to get out. Why does one why does the word modern sound so weird when I say it? Modern, 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 different lip like like it smells like a box of crayons kind of like poured in a little bit of like chemical mixture. So the first thing that I, this is, this, oh my god.